Good afternoon. My name is Sean Tynan, VP of Partnerships at EverFi, and Dr. London Jackson is our VP of Content. We started EverFi in 2008 with a single goal, to make sure that when students graduated high school, they were better prepared to make financial decisions. In order to do that, we knew we had to do two things. One, we had to build a learning platform that resonated with today's students, interactive gaming, 3D avatars, adaptability. We also knew that we would not be able to charge schools for this product. We weren't going to ask the PTA to do another bake sale. Instead, we were going to partner with banks, partner with credit unions, insurance companies to underwrite the cost of our platform for their local schools. So the last decade, we built a network of over 900 financial institutions that have underwritten the cost of our high school platform for 22 million students and 30,000 schools. And so as we built our network, our partners came to us and said, we love what you've done for our students, but what about our employees? What about our customers? You see, our partners were investing a lot of money into digital technology that was making it easier for their customers to bank with them. They were trying to put a bank branch in everyone's pocket. But if you think about why people come to branches, it's not just for transactions. It's not just to cash a check. It's not just a deposit. People come to branches because they need advice, because they have questions, because they don't know where else to go sometimes. And so as we begin to unpack that discussion, we realized that there was a real gap in the market in providing personalized financial education to customers online. So London and I are here today to share with you EverFi Achieve, a mobile-first personal finance platform that our partners provide to the audiences they care most about, their customers, their employees, and their business partners. As you can see on the platform, we're doing it in sort of a Finnovate brand, or a Finnabank, if we want to call it that. Um, your customers access the landing page through all the channels you're already in, mobile, online banking, email, social. We can also embed this content in all those channels as well. I'll now turn it over to Dr. Jackson to walk you through the technology. Thanks, Sean. So I like to consider EverFi Achieve as a Netflix of financial education. The education center you see here is built by EverFi, but we build it for you. As of right now, we have over 30 topics, but by the end of this year, we'll have over 50. You can see that we've organized our topics into different playlists, but we will work with you to make sure that you're choosing the right topics for your consumers and putting in the right playlist that's in line with what you're looking for. But how do we make it more personalized? This is what we're here for. We create a personalization tool. And this is a high-level way for our learners to actually, or your learners, to actually answer a couple of questions to identify what are their goals and what are the obstacles to those goals. Um, whether it's if $400 is going to impact you and how are you going to handle that emergency. When the learner is done with the survey, we prepare a summary and we get a playlist, or they get a personalized playlist. Think of it like Spotify, but instead of a music playlist for cleaning your house on Saturday morning, it's talking about building an emergency savings fund. Let's go a little bit deeper into credit scores and reports. As you can see here, we have many moments of education. The learner can actually go in and start from the very beginning or go down to the bottom or at the very end, or they can go to that just-in-time information. But what I really love about this is those custom moments, because the content is awesome. I'm not going to deny that. But we need to work with you to make sure we're offering that immediate next steps, those actionable steps. And that's where your products and services come into play. We want the learner or your consumer to be able to apply for a student or apply for a loan, to, a, to open a checking account, open a savings account, or a CD. Let's dive a little bit deeper into one of our moments. As you can see here, we have a video. We do not rely on just one thing because learners have multiple ways of learning styles. Our videos or our, our content is not going to just be one person sitting up there in front of a screen for eight minutes talking at you. We have articles. We have um, calculators, videos. We want the, your learner, your consumer to be engaged in this product. So we have clicking, swiping left and right. And as you can see here, when we're understanding the impact of credit scores, we're actually getting a story and they're actually getting tips and strategies. Now all these clicks and swipes and left to right, we're collecting all of this data. And this is going to go to you so that you can make better decisions. I'm going to pass it right back to Sean. And he's going to talk a little bit more about what we do or what you can do with your data. Thanks, London. So if we flip over to the data center, London just walked you through what is the customer experience, what your employees, what your customers are going to see as part of the experience. 
the partner data center is where all that data comes and aggregates so that you can see the personalization tool at scale. So you can see that over the last six months, the most popular topic for your customers is how to pay off their debt. Or over the over a two-week period, if you're providing this to a business partner, that the most popular topic for them is credit scores, reports, or perhaps how to buy a home. We also allow our partners to see um, individual user data. So London was a new customer of the bank. You can actually go in and see that London took certain topics now that she's onboarded as a customer. So she came and opened a checking account, but we now see that she is interested in perhaps buying a home, planning for retirement. So you're learning more about your customers through the diagnostic survey. So I'm gonna close with what I kind of consider to be the elephant in the room, what some of you might be thinking. Sean London, very cool product, but financial education, we're not sure it works. We could not disagree more. Some of you may be thinking, People know this stuff. We could not disagree more. The credit crisis, the student loan crisis. If you look out, study after study showing that Americans are woefully underprepared to understand basic personal finance topics, that in itself shows you that this product is necessary as you think about your digital bank of the future. Now, we also believe that education is the first step, that our platform can improve the financial capability of your customers, but it's your products and services, as London mentioned, they are gonna help them take that next step. So if you're interested in improving the financial capability of your customers, of your employees, or your business partners, come see us. Thank you so much.